this is is if you have an external document that you're tying this to for instance if this is a constraint requirement that the system shall comply with uh, Federal Aviation Administration requirements then you'd put that document number in there or if it's a company internal PUID document then you would put that document title in there I don't think I ever used this one in my final project um, here's another one title so of the document PUID that this ties back to FA like FAR 3513 Bravo or something like that and the title of that FAR would go here type this is the type of requirement either it's a composite and a composite is basically made up of all the different lower level requirements and in this case this one actually is a composite so I will click that as soon as I'm done describing all the other ones to you so there's the composite there's the constraint requirement and we have that I just created that one over here on the, the elements pane right here constraint requirement uh, that's self-explanatory functional requirement I've got a couple of those in there and performance requirements I've got a whole list of those I've got nine of those this one is the composite requirement value you use these for whatever you're constraining that not constraining for whatever however you want that system to perform so if it needs to go from from 0 to 60 miles per hour you fill it in like that and the only reason you do that is if your system gets so big that you can't track down which requirement has anything to do with speed then you can filter out the units and basically bring all the units to the top and search for MPH uh, if your system's not that big then don't worry about filling this out weight factor I never used weight factor KPP is this a KPP this one happens to be a KPP because this is a mission need statement the origin this shows you where the requirement came from was it derived was it is it a based on a design decision or is it an originating requirement this one is originating rationale if you want to explain why this requirement came about then you do that down here paragraph number this will show you uh, a reference document if you tie back to your reference document where it says documented by relationship right here you can tie it back to an external document such as that FAR that I was talking about earlier yet then you'd point out the paragraph number and the title of the paragraph that you're pointing back to you as the reason why this requirement came about so I'm just gonna go through here and kinda fill in the blanks for some of these so on you get the point I'm not gonna do the rest of them so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna establish relationships I still haven't numbered these in fact to avoid confusion I'm even gonna delete this number off here this way they all kinda stick together based on their names so we'll start out with the mission need requirements let's say the mission need requirement 01 is broken down into capability requirements 1 and 2 okay now here's your top level one what we're going to do is go down into relationships down here and we're going to choose either refined by or refines now since this is the highest level requirement that you can have in here mission need requirement it's always going to be refined by something and it won't be refining anything so it'll be if we double click on refined by it brings this little box open let me make it a little bit smaller for you okay so then you get this list of all the different requirements that are in here that it can be refined by. It's going to be refined by capability requirement 1 and 2. Now there's several different ways to go about adding these to this target pane. You want to put these into the target pane and then hit OK. You can either double click it, which I just did just now, and I'll double click it to remove it. Or you can hit hold down control and select more than one and you can hit add up here in the upper right hand corner and that'll add those two or you can hold shift if they happen to be adjacent to each other I'm gonna go ahead and remove those and do the shift key shift key pretty much does the same thing but I'm gonna go even further go all the way down here and select all these just for demonstration purposes and that pretty much oh I'm sorry I, I selected itself you can't do a recursive relationship so I'll just select these three right here I held down shift. I selected this one, hold down shift, and then select the last one. And it does it like that. Or if you just want if you want to skip around and do this one, this one, this one, and this one, then you hold down the control key. That's the that's the big difference. Okay? 
So what we said in the beginning is it was these two that we were, uh, this was being refined by, okay? So that's that relationship. Now, mission need requirement two is refined by capability requirement three. Let's go ahead and do refine by there. Capability requirement three. Got it. So now these two are taken care of. Now these three are refining something. They're refining these two mission need statements. So if I click on this one, it'll show it's being re it's refining that one. You'll see the relationship is already established there. This one is the same one, and then three, remember we did mission need statement two. So now let's say this one's written X, Y, and Z, so now we need to find those performance requirements, X, Y, and Z. Where, where did they go? Let's just go down to this list chart here and find X, Y, and Z. Here's X, Y, and Z. Seven, eight, and nine. So there's several different ways to establish relationships with more than one requirement. Since this is X, Y, and Z, that's seven, eight, and nine. So we're going to establish a relationship. This will be refined by seven, eight, and nine. So go ahead and click on refine by. Go down here in this list. I'll make it bigger. I'll hold down shift and select nine. So it selects those. And then I'll just do add. And now we have that relationship established. This one's L, M, and N, which is probably four, five, and six. L, M, and N. Yep, you see it right there. N, M, L. Got it? Four, five, and six this, to this one. So this will be refined by four. I'm holding down control and selecting those. I'll hit add. Got that. And then three is probably one, two, and three, right? One, two, and three. So it's those three. We'll go ahead and hit add. All right. Now let's say that this one, system shall accomplish A in five minutes threshold, ten minutes objective. Actually, that's backwards. Rookie mistake. All right, I almost screwed the pooch on that one. So let's say that this performance requirement, A, conduct, uh, shall accomplish A in five minutes or ten minutes threshold. Let's say that uh, is refined by this functional requirement, that functional requirement, and that constraint requirement. Actually, you know what? Those two functional requirements, we'll hit A, this constraint requirement refines, you can also go backwards, the constraint requirement refines, it's going to refine those two. It's constraining the entire system. So it'll be refining those two things. Okay? So now we've got a basic architecture developed. We've got some, we've got a hierarchy uh, established. So let's go all the way back here, and I'm going to show you how to number these elements. Remember we put req.1 in there? And let's go ahead and do this one since it has different relationships and do req.2 for that one. Now how you renumber the elements is you select the one that you want all the uh, lower tiered requirements to be a part of, select it, right click on it, since it has relationships established, it's refined by things, right click on it and do renumber element, this little dialog pops up, you're going to keep that the same and you're going to keep numeric by class the same and hit OK, and you see it automatically renumbers all the different elements, and we're going to do the same thing for this one, since it has different relationships. number element requirement 2 and then it captures all its lower tiered requirements so now let's go ahead and look at the different ways that we can view let's go down here to this tab this is the entity relationship tab and this shows you what kind of relationship this requirement has with all other elements so it'll show you its relationship with all these other elements if this requirement has a relationship with a component, it has a relationship with defined term, it has a relationship with all these different things, functions, interfaces, issues, and risks, and all those different things. It's going to show that to you in this elements relationship tab. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Right now it's only being refined by those three.